multiple email accounts coming in to one mailbox. So we're gonna forward from one into another and we're gonna bring them into one place. And then we're gonna set up multiple signatures so we can use multiple signatures as well. So I've, I've got a couple of mailboxes. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my mail here. Cool, and I've zoomed in. Just let me know if you can see this. I've made it as, as big as I can, me still being able to actually work. So let's set up an extra mailbox to send and receive from. So I'm in my mailbox. This is my primary mailbox, Peter IT Genius. So I, I click on the settings wheel and then it lets me, let's go back to my inbox. All right, so I'm gonna click the settings wheel and then I'm gonna click see all settings. Okay, now we're in our settings. So from here, we're gonna click onto accounts and inside accounts, you've got options to send mail as, you can also check email from other accounts and you can grant access to your account. And then also you have the ability to forward, but I think that's in this menu here. Yes, forwarding is in the second menu here. Now there's a few ways to actually set this up. There's a few ways to manage this. Let's go back to our pretty pictures here. Let's say we have two mailboxes that we want to manage. I'm going to keep it really simple here. So let's make a new one. I'm going to do two buckets of email. I use the concept of buckets. Hopefully that makes sense to everyone. And let's say we've got, you know, itgenius.com. So it's Peter at, and then I have Peter at, Peter at onsite helper which is one of our other brands. So if you've got more than 40, 50 employees in your company and you're looking for a more enterprise ready consulting service for Google Workspace, then head along to onsitehelper.com and have a chat to our team there. It's one of the other businesses that I own. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we want these both to come into one mailbox, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this one. And what I'm gonna say is, okay, I've got a few different options for me to get the mail into my primary mailbox. So let's say my IT Genius one is gonna be my primary email inbox. So I can forward it from here if I want. And that's probably the best way if it's a Google account. Now, if it's on a different Google Workspace account, so which Onsite Helper is, it's a completely separate company, it's got a completely separate Google Workspace account, I'm gonna to have to forward it. But if these are both contained within a single Google Workspace account, and maybe you've just set up the second domain as like a, an add-on domain or a secondary domain, then you can actually consolidate these two accounts. You can actually just basically merge them, merge them both into one. And that would be something that you'd probably chat to our support team to get some help with, but you just merge them into one and then you maintain both mailboxes. So that's one way of doing it. The third option is, let's say, for example, this is not Google Workspace. So let's say for example, my itgenius.com is Google Workspace, but this one is on, it's running on Microsoft Exchange. I don't know, maybe you've got other business business owners or shareholders in there, or you know, you're like a consultant for another company and it's completely different. Then you may be able to forward it. Forwarding is one method. The other method is retrieving. So important, retrieving, you would set up from this, from this mailbox here, because it's kind of like sucking the email into that bucket and forwarding, you obviously send from the, the sending one. So forwarding, you would send from the sending one. If you have if you have an iCloud account, you would also set it up to forward too. What, no matter what that scenario is for you, only if you have access, these things can take a little bit of time, but only if you have access, if for example, you wanna maybe forward your iCloud email into your mail, you can do that right now. So you can log into your iCloud, inside your iCloud settings, you can actually find the spot that lets you forward mail and you just forward it to your business account. But let's have a look at how we set up the sending side of things inside of Gmail because that is very important. So inside my Gmail here, this send mail as is how we're gonna set up our multiple email addresses. So let's add another email address here and I'm going to add peter at onsitehelper.com. Treat as an alias. I've been working with Google Workspace for, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 years and I still have no idea what that is. I've read the help article a million times, but I don't know what it means. And this is actually gonna ask me to configure mail services. I'd say probably because that email doesn't exist. <laughs> it shouldn't ask you that if the email is within your Google Workspace account or is another active Google Workspace email. But if you do need help with that, you can get help with that. If you would like to have something like, you know, Exchange or a web server or something like that sucked into your account. Remember I said, you know, one way of doing it is to actually pull the email in. Then you would check email from other accounts and you can add an email account there and you know type in the email address, whatever that happens to be. But for most, it's easier to push rather than 
pull. So once that's been done, and this is probably the one thing that I'd say, only do this if you're confident that this is quick to go and do it. Otherwise, this can take a little bit longer to implement. So maybe not the best one to try to implement in the room. What that allows you to do then is you've got these multiple email accounts which you can send email as. Now notice a number of these are actually under our business domain. So let's say, for example, from time to time, I wanna send email and have it look like it's going from the sales team. I can actually set hello at itgenius.com, which is our sales team's email, as one of my sending email addresses. And then when I go to compose an email message, see here under from, I've got a drop down. So I can choose between multiple email addresses to actually send from. One more thing before we move on, I would like to show you what it then looks like if I have multiple accounts and I wanna add multiple signatures to those accounts. So that's pretty straightforward. Inside our Gmail account, we go to general and then we go down to our signature settings and Google now make it very easy to set up multiple signatures. So you can see here, I've got just one standard default signature that's there at the moment. But if I wanna create a new one, I'll create a new signature and I'll call it second business or maybe side hustle, create that. And then here is my other signature. My other signature is a signature also. So, okay, cool. So I think it just, does it auto save or do we have to hit save? Okay, we have to go down the bottom and hit save. And then what we can also do is set the default signatures. Check this out. So once you've got multiple email addresses set up with each one of your email addresses, maybe hello at itgenius.com. I wanna choose my second signature. I can choose my second signature and it gives you different options there, which is pretty darn cool. So that's how I would recommend you do that. By the way, I recommend you tick this little box. If you didn't know this little box was here to put your signature above the email thread, that's so your signature actually appears at the bottom of your email, which is, you know, been pretty standard process for the last 20 odd years. You can put that there. Funnily enough, Google see email more as like a, not quite a chat, but like a forum or a newsletter group where they believe that the signatures should all go down the very bottom. But anyway, you're able to tick that box and have your signature appear immediately under your email if you haven't already found that before. Okay, that's how we configure that. And if you, if you would know this, if you've gone through our inbox course, or if you've dug around in Gmail, you've got your inbox and that's kind of got all your stuff sitting in your inbox, but you've also got your all mail folder, see the all mail folder here? And the all mail folder is basically every single email ever in your Google mailbox. So you can see I've got nearly 600,000 emails in there. And so anything I've sent, received, sitting in a label, anything is basically sitting here, is basically sitting here inside your all mail folder. You've got absolutely everything. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.